one thing that I do see, which is extremely encouraging, not just of late, but in the last few years on social media, um, because of, for, for, for good or for better or worse, social media has become a marketplace of ideas um, where news has immediacy, where first impressions are made, where things can become trending and unfortunately they can become the narrative. However, what I have seen are more and more citizens of Bharat and NRIs who are younger than the age of 30, perhaps, constantly fighting back against these narratives. They will deep dive into these issues, offer instant rebuttals with lots and lots of information, whether it's through YouTube, whether it's through YouTube documentaries that are funded, self-funded, whether it's through Twitter, whether it's through Facebook, that there is an instant rebuttal to these false narratives. And our enemies didn't expect that. In fact, it perturbs them greatly because for far too long, they were able to simply disseminate all of these lies, all of these falsehoods without rebuttal. But now we have a generation right. which is proud of who it is, is proud to say um, that they are a member of the RSS or the BJP and they support Modi and they will not be silenced. So one of the first ways is absolutely let's keep this continuing, be there to rebut these um, falsehoods. We must create more visual aids, um, which the Hindu American Foundation is doing in an amazing way. More fact sheets about what Hindu phobia is to make clear that Hindu phobia really is a thing, which is the common description of these sort of things these days, because that's one thing we need to bring more into the public sphere. But Saurabhji, I have to yeah. ask you, and I hate to interrupt, mm -hmm. you know, last time when you were here on a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I remember you telling me as soon as the new Twitter CEO took over, you said that social media is not really a safe space for Hindus because you're const mm -hmm. constantly being censured. So in that sense, I try to get what you're trying to say, that social media has enabled a global conversation in that sense, mm -hmm. we're all more connected. But do you actually think we can fight our battles on Twitter? Not alone, of course not. Um, it's just one part of the narrative war. Um, ultimately, it comes down to NGOs, it comes to think tanks, which need to be more funded. I've seen a few um, friend, you know, um, NGOs friendly to Bharat hold um, co-sponsored events with other organizations such as the Henry Jackson Society, which are also interested in fighting narratives around Islamism, Islamic thought. So we need to make those connections. We need to make the connections across the globe, right, for other out, for other papers and other media houses, which are interested in these issues as well, um, to get onto different platforms. And um, one of the most beautiful things I've seen in the last few weeks on YouTube is a wonderful documentary about the origins of the um, and the misappropriation of the swastika and how it's been used to constantly demonize right. Hinduism and call them Nazis. And yet that YouTube video is there, and I've learned so much from that. And I thought I knew all about the history of the swastika. As long as these efforts are being created, podcasts, fact sheets, things like that, that's what we need to look out for and spread that information. Follow the Hindu American Foundation, for example. Look at what people like Robert Spencer are doing, talking about these issues. With regards to Twitter, it's not the safest space, but yet Arti Tuku's, uh, account was brought back, thankfully, but she had to fight that. You need deep pockets, unfortunately, to fight those narratives. So I would say there is hope, but constantly be there on the internet, be there, take charge of the narrative game, because at the moment, if you type in Narendra Modi on Google, we, but we all know what comes up, all of the falsehoods. We need to take control of that narrative game. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanavad. Namaskar.